Hi, welcome to this Plunger tutorial. Plunger is a web, web front-end uh, development tool uh, that runs in a browser. It's uh, really good for making prototypes or testing out some ideas or uh, just for learning new techniques or technologies in, in the HTML5 space. So, I'm uh, whoops, I'm Steen uh, Halfin Rasmussen, Steen Halfin Rasmussen, or in Danish Steen Hulgin Rasmussen. That's me. Um, I'm a software developer, and uh, I do like chocolate a lot. So let's get started. Plunker, uh, the website. URL is uh, plnkr.co. So uh, plunker without the, the vowels and then uh, .co. Uh, for this tutorial, I am going to assume that you know basic HTML and uh, CSS and JavaScript. Uh, you don't need to know everything about either of those uh, languages, but uh, just the basics uh, is necessary in order for everything to make sense. This is um, the start screen where you come into Plunker. The, the interesting thing is uh, the editor. Let me just make the fonts a little bit bigger so everyone can see. Um, and let's launch the editor. Uh, when I say that uh, Plunker is a web front-end development tool, that is a bit like JS Fiddle. Uh, those two are very similar. If you don't know JS Fiddle, let me just JS Fiddle. Take that out. That's not com. It's .net, as I recall. Um, and here you have four windows. You have a window where you can type in HTML, a window for where you can type in uh, JavaScript, and a window for uh, CSS. And then you get the result in this uh, uh, lower right uh, window. Yeah, this fiddle is, is uh, also a good tool, but I really prefer Plunker. Uh, it's very easy to get started. It already helps you with a, a template where there's a a CSS uh, reference to a file out here. Uh, the way it's uh, constructed is a little bit different from uh, it is uh, Fiddle. You have the files out here, which is a bit more like a, a, a typical um, uh, editor or, or uh, IDE, uh, Integrated Development Environment, uh, which I prefer. Um, so. What we can see here is that the, the, there's a reference to a Java or to a CSS file, which is this one. Let's have a look. It's empty for now. And then there's a the reference to a JavaScript file, and that's this one, which is also empty at the moment. Um, and that's that's it for the editor. Let's just see what happens when we run this. We'll get back to this uh, window over here. So we run it, and we should probably see something like a little plunker, which is what we have in the h1 uh, tag down here. So that's worked out just as expected. And now that we are running, it's uh, constantly evaluating what we um, have in the in the editor. So I could do something like uh, more text and. Uh, and then uh, uh, close that tag, and then we see the result immediately. So that also means that we could do something like adding a style. So if, say, we wanted uh, uh, the header element to, let's I don't know, uh, uh, call or Red, maybe that will look tremendously good. 
there you go so that 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 uh, shows up immediately um, we can also go ahead and type some uh, JavaScript we can do alert and then hello plunker and suddenly it turns up when it comes around to evaluating um, so okay so every time I, I do an edit here it will after some time run again uh, with the new update so this, this becomes a bit annoying when <laughs> you have something like an alert box what you can do is then to stop and then do the coding and run it again um, so that's that's one way to do it another way is of course to just delete the, <laughs> in this case the alert okay so so that's it we um, start out with a, a template given from from Plunker um, and we can add uh, CSS in the CSS file and the JavaScript in the related JavaScript file so that's all very nice and easy and it's possible also to add new files and reference them up here in, in either as a script tag or if it's a CSS file as, as a CSS file um, so that's pretty neat but let's uh, have a look at what we saw in the beginning. There, there's over here in the, in the right, there's a few things uh, that are interesting. Live preview, which is, prob is, is uh, pretty much uh, similar to clicking the run button. I don't know if there's any difference. Um, so let's look at the next one. That's that's. Uh, more interesting. This is uh, where you can get or uh, pull in external libraries, uh, JavaScript libraries or CSS, or in the case of Bootstrap here, uh, and it will reference in, uh, uh, in the header file as um, uh, from a CDN. So you can use them right away. Let's let's see an example. Let's import. Uh, jQuery, the latest version, I guess it is. Um, and now we can use jQuery. Let's go to our uh, JavaScript file, and uh, I'm a bit out of ideas. Let's just do the same document. Let's just let's. Ah, I mean, this this does not make much sense, but I'll just do it to show that. It actually does import jQuery. So, alert. hello, J jQuery from um, Blanker. Let's try to run that. And we get the expected alert. Uh, this does not make a lot of sense, but we can do all the standard editing in uh, in the file as as expected. Okay, so let's have a look at what this is good for, um, particularly if you have made something and you want to show it to a customer or something. If you already have a backend, you can set up a. Uh, front end up here fairly easily and then um, you get the result over here but if you want to show that to a customer then uh, that will probably be confusing but what you can do is that you um, can at least in Firefox uh, I believe you can in most browsers uh, by the way Plunker works in all browsers it works on uh, Safari and Internet Explorer Chrome and uh, Firefox way. So it, it works in all the standard uh, main browsers. So what you can do now is simply send this URL to the customer and they can have a look at uh, um, the front end as it is. So this, this is one uh, useful scenario I think. Um, I don't know if there's that much more to say about it. You can add 
uh, and uh, do pretty much uh, standard HTML5 development in Plunker. And I think it's just very easy and uh, enjoyable to work with. There's one more thing that uh, I'd like to show, however, that is um, that you can sign in with uh, a GitHub account. Uh, I happen to be logged in already. So um, what that does is that you can see your other plunks, or if you have some starred plunks, uh, which is nice. So you can always go back to, to some uh, uh, plunks that you have made in the past. And there's another thing that you are also uh, able to do, which you are not in um, uh, normally. Okay, let's just add. normally you um, can add your your external libraries, uh, but you cannot uh, change the libraries. So, but if you are logged in, you get the edit button, and you can uh, now make a new version if you want uh, and so on and then um, add you click add uh, new if you want a new new version so uh, that's one advantage of uh, being able to sign in okay i think that is pretty much uh, the very short tutorial um, and i think go ahead try it out use it be happy. Write some code. Bye.